Hey there pranksters, welcome back to another fun Christmas video and right now I'm about to show you some very clever gift wrapping life hacks that will come in handy for Christmas and cool ways to recycle some holiday items instead of throwing them away. But before we get to these, let's get to some giveaways first. If this video gets 7000 likes before Christmas 2019, I will give away a brand new drone with a camera to someone in the comments. These are very fun, especially once you link them up to your smartphone. Now if this video gets 12,000 likes, I will give away another Nintendo Switch and to participate it's not that hard. All you have to do is like this video and leave a comment below telling me what you want to get for Christmas this year. I will choose the winner randomly but you can always try to stand out with your comment. Again guys, let's try to meet those like goals. I'd love to make someone's Christmas a bit more special this year. All it takes is a like and a comment to participate. One last thing guys, make sure you get the newest Nextmas merch. Link is in the description below. Good luck pranksters, now let's get these hacks going. Alright guys, well a major part of the holidays is wrapping up gifts. And sometimes you'll have to improvise to get it done as most of us tend to run into issues in the process of wrapping up Christmas presents. For example here, I ran out of wrapping paper for this shirt and I don't have any more gift boxes for it. Luckily, I do have two aluminum cake pans which I got at the dollar store. So if I put the shirt inside and tuck it up very well, I'll place another cake pan over it and keep both together with some clear tape. See we just created a gift box and you can decorate it any way you want. I will place a bow on it and call it a day. You could always put some ribbon on it as well. This method would definitely come in handy as a last resort. Just look at this. I have some used headphones that I want to give to someone for Christmas but I don't have the original box. Well, if I repeat the process with it, I can still give them away for Christmas and they will be looking great. The problem here is that I don't have any more wrapping paper for this gift, which is a GoPro. I do however have a large gift bag, which is a big mismatch for this present. See if I put it inside, it will look so small inside the large gift bag. So our best option here is to cut a piece off of the bag as we are going to use it as wrapping paper and I'm choosing to use the side that has the string handle. After this, everything should be a breeze and if you're good at wrapping presents, then you should end up with something that looks like this. And the best part is that you can use the remaining gift bag to wrap up some smaller presents. Our issue here is that we ran out of clear tape and one would assume that you can't wrap anything without tape, right? Well actually, there's ways around this. For example here, I'm gonna use a simple glue stick. If I apply it on correctly, I should be able to wrap up this present without any complications. The thinner your wrapping paper is, the easier it will stick on using a glue stick. Another creative method that will save the day is if you don't have any more tape, you can actually use floss. That's right guys, floss. If you watch what I'm doing here, all I need is two pieces of floss. Once I make the folds, one will go around the present to keep it in place and the other will go across it after I've made the folds on each end. This method works best with smaller presents, but it doesn't mean you can't use it on big presents. It's just a little bit more hard and you'll have to use more floss. See, this one looks very cool and creative. Here I have this last minute present. It's a football jersey that I want to wrap up for a family member. But guess what guys, I don't have any more wrapping paper or gift boxes. Fortunately though, I do have a cereal box, but even if I do put it inside the cereal box, it won't look good at all. Our best option here is to undo the box till it's flat and reassemble it, but this time it will be inside out. As you can see now it's just a brown box, so let's put our gift inside and close it up. It might not look very Christmassy, but if we wrap it up with some ribbon and slap a bow on top, it should look good enough to go under the Christmas tree. Another way to improvise is the following. Here I have a hat that I will give away to someone for Christmas and I want to put it inside a shoebox. Now if I do this and wrap it up, when they open it, at first they will think that they're getting shoes. So to avoid that, I'm actually going to stick some wrapping paper on the shoebox using a glue stick. The objective here is to turn the shoebox into a gift box. You can do the same thing with the box lid and for that you can use a different color wrapping paper. See guys, now I can put the hat inside and close it up. Some ribbon and a bow will always make things look a little bit better and that's it. To open this box on Christmas morning, all they have to do is undo the ribbon. For the small gifts that you want to give out to your friends and family, you can use a chip bag to avoid wrapping up every single one of those presents. Of course, it has to be an empty chip bag. All we do here is turn it inside out and if it's dirty, wipe it clean put the gifts inside and tie the end with a ribbon to close it up. 
the inside of the chip bag is shiny in color and it makes for a great last minute hack for Christmas. Here I already wrapped up my present guys and I did a really good job at it but unfortunately I don't have any more ribbon and I love using ribbon as you can tell by the other presents that you just saw. So in this case all I have to do is cut up some small strips from another roll of wrapping paper. All I do is wrap these around my present and it will look like actual ribbon, especially if the colors are different, they definitely stand out. Even the most insignificant of gifts will look good if you wrap them up really nice on Christmas. Here I have a can of silly string that I'm gonna give to someone. The best way to wrap this up is by putting it inside an empty can of Pringles. To avoid any rattling, if we ball up some wrapping paper and put it inside, it will keep the silly string in place. Another balled up piece of wrapping paper will go on top and now we can put the lid on. The last step is to actually wrap up the Pringles can and make it look extra nice. See how cool it looks? Now guys, these next few hacks are to recycle some Christmas decorations and supplies. For example, here I got this plastic container shaped as a candy cane and inside it contains mini Reese's peanut butter cups. Well, after I eat those, I can fill up the container with some water and put a rose inside. It doesn't look bad at all and it makes for a nice gift after Christmas. As for the top of the container, I could always use it as a plug. The gallon right here does not have a cap on. It got lost. Well, this is where the plug would come in handy. Just place it on. Luckily, this plug is also hollow inside, so I can cut off the tip and on the flat end, I can poke a few small holes with some scissors. This hack is basically for kitchen use as I will add some tenderizer inside but of course you guys can add some salt or sugar if you want. Tape the tip back onto the plug and that's it. It really does come in handy when you're cooking or grilling outside. Normally you would throw away a gift box once Christmas is over right guys? But why not save them for next year? Better yet save them but use them to store small Christmas decorations you might end up using the following year. It's easily storable as you can see I mainly stored away used up bows and although the adhesive may be worn out and won't stick anymore you can still use them next year. Basically all you do is place some double sided tape on it and slap it on any gift and no one will know that these bows are being reused. Another way to recycle used bows is by removing the staple that holds it together. You can do this with a pair of scissors. Basically what we want to do is undo the bow so it becomes a long piece of string. We can cut it into smaller strips and use it as string. For example, you can tie these on balloons. It's basically what you get when you buy balloons at the store that have helium in them. This reel you see right here is used to hold ribbon that I wrapped around the tree. Well, instead of throwing it away, I can put it to use. For example, this extension cord, I can wrap it around and it'll help keep it neat and handy for whenever I need to use it. It's very, very easy to store away. I bought this decorative paper shred to make my gifts look a little bit better for Christmas, but then I realized that I could actually make my own to avoid spending extra money and to do all that, all I have to do is take some wrapping paper and put it through my paper shredder. See guys, there's plenty of it in there that I can use for when I wrap up Christmas presents this year. It's very cheap to do, especially if you have a paper shredder at home. Look at this cool gift bag that I got for Christmas. Normally we would throw these away, but why do that when you can reuse this bag? By that I mean you can use this to give someone a birthday present sometime throughout the year and to do that all you have to do is undo the bag and turn it inside out. Just like we did earlier with the cereal box and the bag of chips. You can restore it and the outside will be a plain single color as you can see this one is all white. Well again like I said you can use this to give out a birthday present and you'll save a couple dollars in the process. Lastly guys look at this tin can. Inside it has some yummy cookies and they are very popular during the holidays. Everybody gets these. But what happens once the cookies are gone? Well one thing you shouldn't do is throw the tin can away as you can actually make something really cool with it. And here's a really cool idea. Put the lid back on the tin can and tape it on if you want. Take a knife and cut a slit on top, right on the center. Just make sure it's big enough for coins as we are turning this cookie tin can into a piggy bank without the actual pig shape of course. Now you have a place to store all your loose change throughout the year and you might end up saving some money for next year's Christmas. There you guys have it, 20 creative Christmas life hacks that will come in handy this holiday season. Not only will you save time and money, but you will have a fun time with these. Now guys, at the start of this video, I did mention two giveaways that I'm having. Once this video hits 7,000 likes, I will give away a brand new drone that you can capture video with to someone in the comments. 
end at 12,000 likes, I will give away a Nintendo Switch to someone for Christmas. And to participate, all you have to do is like this video and leave a cool comment below. Whether you celebrate Christmas or not, anyone is eligible to enter this giveaway. Also guys, don't forget to order your next Miss merch. Link is in the description. Good luck to all of you who enter this giveaway. I'll see you pranksters in my next holiday video.